very humble uh, to be a pioneer, uh, to be the first black uh, police commissioner of this, of this county. Rodney Harrison traveled more than 60 miles east from the NYPD's 1PP to police headquarters in Suffolk. His chief of staff is retired NYPD Lieutenant Gracia Herdsman. Commissioner Harrison, class 182. We followed Harrison as he met some of Suffolk County's newest police recruits at the academy in Brentwood. Doing God's work, helping people. Harrison now on a mission in a department that's 85 percent white. Recruitment and diversity uh, in this organization needs to get better. The number actually is 76 uh, black police officers in a department that has 2,500. Harrison spent 30 years in the NYPD, the first man to go from cadet to chief of department. I, Rodney Harrison, do solemnly swear. Solemnly Suffolk swear. County Executive but Steve Ballone initially swore him in December 27th. Is it a little bit different from uh, New York City? Absolutely. Um, but you also see some of the, a lot of the same issues. Gang violence, one of them, with MS-13 in Brentwood and a convicted Bloods leader from Bellport. Harrison told us he worked with the county's brand new DA, Ray Tierney, in the past, prosecuting Brooklyn gangs. But this is going to be a great partnership going forward. And in a county long known for the Amityville horror, Harrison is inheriting one of the biggest unsolved crimes in the country, the case that started at Gilgo Beach, the Long Island serial killer known as Lisk. I'm feeling confident that uh, we're getting closer to making an arrest. Harrison said the persistent speculation about ex-police chief James Burke, who did prison time for assaulting a burglary suspect, may have been a disservice to a complex investigation. I will say this, there's been a lot of uh, turns uh, in different directions. The public still waiting to hear the 911 tapes from a petrified Shannon Gilbert, an escort who went missing in 2010 in Oak Beach, found dead a year later. You've listened to the tapes. I have. Are they startling? They're they are alarming. Commissioner Harrison told us one of his biggest jobs will be overseeing a police reform task force, mandating all officers to wear body cameras. He's brought in another NYPD veteran, Anthony Carter, as deputy commissioner. At the present time, do any Suffolk County police officers wear the body cameras? There, there are a few. <laughs> the commissioner asked the recruits why they're joining the Suffolk PD. I wanted to help people. That's it. Their new boss, a man who's seen it all in New York City, the son of a bus driver and a nurse. My father was the one who pushed me into law enforcement, so I'm very, very proud. My wife's a retired lieutenant. My two daughters are now police officers. Um, it's all about being blue and, and protecting people and helping people. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.